everybody. Still an indecision about the basket in that other part. So let's go ahead and make the outside panels. Now, these you will be able to see. So you may consider tracing on the opposite side of what you cut. And these, unlike the other panels, the ones that are on the inside, you want to be careful with. Because you need these to be smooth and meet up. sure you get right up against the template. smooth cuts because these are on the outside there are things that you there are things that you can do to hide imperfections but we shall try to limit the imperfections by taking our time The bottom will be covered. Not so important. Alright, so there's one panel. And I'm going to distress it. Actually, I'm going to check it first. Let's take our balloon. Yeah, it looks okay. Right. So um, this here is my substitution for a um, I don't know what you call it a uh, non-stick mat. It is a non-stick mat, but it's actually a Kevlar mat for the oven. And um, I'm not sure because I don't own a non-stick mat. But I think it's the same exact thing. You won't see this bottom corner, but it's bugging me, so I'm going to round that off. Okay. You can put as much color as you want on it. Um, I'm just using some brown, or I think it's a vintage photo distress oxide. And then we need six of these. Okay. And this one I'm going to make with the pattern. I'm going to turn my pattern over because it's starting to curl up. If I had used cardstock, that wouldn't have happened, but that's okay. I think I'm only going to do one more in this size, and then I may do some other sizes. Oops. This should be symmetrical, so...
Okay, and then you can do, of course, you can do whatever you want, but I'm going to do three green ones and three yellow ones. And then um, the circle at the top, which is... I always lose the circle. This is the third time I've lost the circle. I'll find it. The circle at the top. I may use yellow. I don't know. We'll find out. And um, I only pulled one sheet of yellow out, but I'm going to need two, it looks like. Because I can only get two per. Yeah, I can only get two per sheet, so I'll pull another sheet of yellow out. So I decided to go with brown for the basket and the um, bottom of the balloon piece. And I just cut them out just like they are. And the scoring of these are pretty simple. You start here at this corner and just go to this corner. Um, Actually, you don't start at that corner because this here, here, we'll do it this way. Okay, so first thing you want to do is score from, um, this, this kind of, this line just kind of doesn't go to any point particular. As you can see, it's this line here, but it goes from this corner to, and straight across. So you line up that corner with one of your score marks and go straight. And then you can turn this way. It goes from that score line to um, this point all the way across the paper. Which should hit each tab. Okay, you see that? It went right across each tab. And then, if we look at this one, uh, very similar, you go from this point to no particular point, but it's a straight line. And then, fold that up, you go from that score all the way across. To this score. Okay. All right. Now, I may have some funky lighting situation going on here in a minute because the sun keeps poking in and out of the clouds. Let me see if this will help a little bit. Okay. So now, oh, I forgot to score. No big deal. So each one of these gets scored because we are going to um, fold this up. There we go. And you just line the point of your um, tab with the line and go straight down. All right, now we're set. Okay, now this is super easy. This is textured cardstock. It's textured on one side and not on another. I'm going to use the untextured side for around the balloon. And then the textured side for
for the basket. And if we didn't underestimate, let me show you how to do this. You just take your, just like you did the balloon, you take your score line and line it up with the edge. So, um, you just keep doing that. As long as we didn't overestimate the size of this, it should fit okay. Because remember, we made things a little bigger when we trace them, but we should have made everything a little bigger. So hopefully, it'll be all right. Okay. Okay, so that goes around the bottom of the balloon. And then this is the basket. And just again, texture on the outside. And oops, I put tape on the wrong side. Well, okay, we're not going to put the texture on the outside then because either that or I had to remove all that tape and it's this portion it's just not worth the hassle <laughs> so we're going to make the out the basket smooth cardstock also and again you just line up that um, folded edge with the cut edge tuck that last piece in so you can All right, and there's your basket. Got a little bit of extra glue on the side here. It's all right. These should be about the same size. Okay, so let's do panels. I have three yellow and three green panels, all different designs, and I did distress them with the, I think it's vintage photo, or no, it's walnut stain distress oxide. And then I decided that for the top ring, I'm going to use this daisy paper. So the first thing I'm going to do is along the side of my desk, I'm going to zoom you out so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, so this is the side of my desk. I'm just going to give my paper a little curve, a little bit of memory for the paper. This just helps break down some of the fibers that want paper to lay straight. All right, good enough. Now. Each one of these panels, and we're going to alternate colors, green, yellow, green, yellow, and designs we don't want. Um, and you can use glue for this. Again, I'm using the tape runner. It's a little lighter. Um, it's sometimes easier to work with, depending on what you're doing. And then I'm going to put a strip of score, score tape, one down one side and one down the other side just for that extra hold. Let's start with the bottom. I should zoom you back in just a little bit. We're going to start at the bottom. And line this up, pushing it. Now, let me just make sure that this is going to fit right. Okay, it's 
starts at the very top, so let's just start at the top. It's, it's easier, I guess. Start at the top, line it up with your, like, sides. And you see how I line it? Just line it right up with this. And don't push down until you got it all laid out. So you want to make sure that it's not too far over one side or another. Remember, we cut this by hand. So it may not be perfect. And I just run, make sure that it's on both sides, and run my hand, my finger. Um, um, I've got some some of the side is going to show here and I'm just going to have to let it because this is stuck down I cannot unstick it well I could undo it but I'm good with this because we're going to add decorations that are going to cover up some of the flaws and it's just yeah, maybe I do need to undo it. I'm just not happy with that bottom. But all right. See what we can do here. I obviously cut something wrong. Let me see how this one fits on this same panel. I could have, it could be just folded different or it could be cut different. See, that one's going to lay down there pretty nice. So. I'm kind of going to split the difference in the bottom. And see where we lay. Remember, on this big one, your hand's going to fit in there. Okay. So, I, I mean, I've got this side's pretty flush, and then I'm missing some here. We're going to put something on, that, on those uh, seams. So, I'm good with that. So let's not fuss with it anymore. We should keep taking things on and off. You're going to end up with a, a barely balloon. Okay, so let's go ahead and go with the pattern yellow. Um, but let's go with the subtle pattern. The stripes versus the, um, the sunflowers or daisies or what have you. Um, I think the two like real patterns would be a bit much next to each other so again I line up the top and I'm going to pretty much butt this side right up against the green side there we go 
there. And you can see some of the um, cardstock underneath, but we're going to cover that up. I'm going to stick my hand in here and we're going to smooth this out. Now let's go with a you want to go let's go with a green solid Again, line up at the top. And down the side. We're going to cover the top too, so if your tops stick out a little bit far, don't worry about it. When you get down to this crease here, you got to make sure that you go down into the crease. Don't let it bubble. Um, okay, now we're going to go with a... Oh, it's really bubbly there. kind of check it as you go. If you need to change something, do it while the, you know, while it's not quite set yet. All right. So, let's do yellow pattern. You just got to know that when you're putting the the panels on it's this isn't going to be used it's it's decoration so oops so i mean it doesn't have to stand up to you know extremely high standards it just needs to be able to exist i guess all right not right. I am sure the more you do this, the better you get at it.
Okay, so I guess the better method is to put it on top and then line up the side next to the side that you just put down. After that first one, I think that's a good option. That seems to be working best for me anyways. One left, you guys. I have pencil on my tape runner. Alright, now here is the one that caps everything off. So, let's see how we did. Oh, oh my. It works very well. I'm very happy with this. Okay. What do you think? I think this is super too small. Is what I think. I think there's a piece missing, actually, is what I think. Um, yeah, there is another piece. Let's do... I think we need to do another one of these with pattern paper or with this color cardstock. Let me show you guys something real quick. Here's the balloon. And this sits right down in there, but you don't want to put that on yet, so don't jump the gun. But you can kind of see, you know, some problem areas that we're going to work on here. Okay, so we're going to make one of these. Well, I mean, technically we don't have to because we're going to put lace on it. If you're not going to use lace, make another one of these to cap off all your um, loose ends here. But I think I'm going to find some brown or dark lace to go underneath there. What do you guys think? Okay, everybody. Again, I apologize for the light. Um, I have some lace, uh, and I don't know what it's called when it's like scrunched up on one side to go around stuff. Um, and then I have some gold cord. Um, I'm going to make one with some pearls, too. So, that would be interesting. So we need six of these, and we need them to measure. Well, we need them to measure enough to go around here. But, um, we can just glue them as we go. I think I'm going to use that. Um, I'm going to use hot glue. And there's a couple of these that aren't sticking down that we will remedy as we put this on. So my hot glue gun is still heating up. Let's also grab some, um, I'm thinking some pearls, these may, or maybe some enamel dots. So these are a little too small. Um, I'm thinking these medium size would be okay, but, I, um, I want 12, I think I need 12. Oh, the same size. Let's see what I got. I got some green. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Those are a little big, though. 
orange horses. None of those colors really. Maybe these will work. We'll use these. We'll use these pearls. Use what you got. Um, one side is longer than the other. This side's sticking out quite a bit more, and you can see why. I thought I had cut it wrong. Um, I thought I had cut it long, um, short, but I actually just cut it wide. So it sits crooked, but that's okay because when we put the the bottom on here, it's going to flatten all that out. While we're waiting for the hot glue to warm up, let's add some pearls to this is the I don't know what it's called you guys it's the thing that goes around the bottom of the balloon I broke my nail this morning so I am a nail short and I should have counted these before I started sticking them on two three four five six seven eight so we'll alternate green and yellow because I don't have enough. And I'm just putting them on either side of the top there. Kind of make it look like it's a functional element. And some other things that you can put on here. This is a floral one, so definitely some flowers. Um, what would have been really neat, instead of this gold cord that I have, would have been um, that trim that looks like vines. That would have been super neat. It's almost like if you had a hot air balloon and you were going to make it like themed, what would it be? Like, how would you do it? So, if this is this is Garden Goddess, it is <clears throat> a garden theme, plant theme. So, definitely plant stuff would be good. Now. The other thing you have to remember is anything that you put on this balloon, <clears throat> you need to um, counterweight it with something on the other side. So I really want to add something that's going to give it a unique look. Like, I like this. Maybe it's got birds. It's perfect for a garden. I can put it on one side. We're going to do that. And then... When I hang it, I will have to find something to put on the opposite side. <clears throat> so that it balances it out. Okay, so before we do that, let's go ahead and start the lace trim. And I'm going to be covering all this up, so I'm going to take my scissors... As soon as I go get them. And trim off some of this excess paper from the top here. Just anything that sticks out. And I'm going to go ahead and stick it in. I'm going to trim this off because it's bugging. it's bugging me. I can't lay it flat. Okay. If I wasn't trying to film, I wouldn't have <clears throat> bothered with that, but... I want it flat. So I'm gonna make sure that my lace is going the right way. Okay, so it has to go this way in order for the <coughs> in order for the gold to be on the right side, I think. Yep. So we're gonna go this way.
not too horribly heavy yet. A piece of this gold cord to kind of hide the fact that I just slapped that right on top of there. Okay, let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to get another tape or another... Nope, I got glue sticks right here. Yep, I'm going to go around the top here. And this one I have to be careful with because it's a small cord. You will be able to see the excess glue. And the same the same when you do the sides. I have a precision glue gun. Maybe I should try that. There we go. I hardly ever use glue guns, though. If I did, I would have no fingerprints left. Because since I have started this, I have stuck my finger directly in it about 20 times. Oh, come on. Didn't do that fast enough. Now, that looks better. I'm good with that. Now I'm going to do the same thing right down the sides here. Okay, while well, we're waiting for my glue gun to heat back up after that short break, I'm going to poke a hole in the top of this. Right in the middle. And I'm going to use one of these things from Tim Holtz. I'm not sure what they are. I need to get some more of them. And my my last one, my other one, I did like a Brad with the chain through it, so you can you can always do that too. I need the center. That's about the center. You really want to get the center because if you don't then you start off balance uh. and you have to put your hand inside here so you don't smash it however don't put your fingers where you're poking the hole okay And then, this is fun, you stick your brad in the hole, mm -hmm. and you stick your hand down in there, and flatten it, and then you want to put some kind of washi or something on there to make sure it does not come off because once you put the back on or the bottom of this on you can't get in there just can't so I just put some washi tape over it okay now you have somewhere to hang it what do you guys think okay. oh yeah we're doing the cord. The cord. And when you do the cord, you only want to go to where it starts to flare out at the bottom because 
otherwise you won't be able to put that base plate on. And just do a little bit at a time. I like to tuck the end up underneath the lace. Patience. This is a hobby. Patience. You guys even see this? I got a glob. I don't know if this is going to look good or not, guys. We shall see. Maybe something else besides my finger to get this stuff off. Big glop. Maybe I should use like fabric tack. Hmm. Maybe I should just be more careful. Um, let's cut this because I know it's hard to cut.
not bad. Not bad at all. Okay. Now, it's time for this guy. But before we put him on, we have some definite spots we have to address here and here. And we have to hook the cords in. So, <clears throat> the first thing I think I'll do is punch holes in this. And that's going to be where the cord goes in. I'm just going to go ahead and use the same cord. Now, for the basket, you don't want it to hang down very far. But you do need it to um, go into both sides. Uh, one the basket and then this piece here too. And you can go four, one, two, three, four. We'll just do four. And it'll be on opposite sides. And we're going to poke the holes in the bottom. You want to do it whatever way looks most symmetrical. Probably this way. <clears throat> and then you just thread whatever you're going to put through there. And we're going to hot glue it on the other side. And probably put like a piece of washi or something on it. This is not the easiest stuff. I need a giant needle. I have a giant needle. Not this giant. Big old blob of hot glue ought to keep him in there. Okay, so I got all my cords in there to hold the basket on, and then let's put um, where they normally have the 
air thing. We're going to put some of these sunflower beads I have, and I just have a head pin, and then stringing some beads on it. You can use whatever kind of beads you want. I think my last one had, I'm not sure what my last one had on it, but, um, then I've got to make a loop with this. some of these jewelry making things here and I do a tutorial on how to make some different kinds of charms um, just a couple tutorials back and then snip and you just make it a a loop snip and then squeeze together And you want to kind of gauge how far you want this to hang down. And remember, once you put this on, you can't get it back off unless you do something like put a lobster clasp or something on there. So what we're going to do then, poke a hole right in the middle. Again, try and get it as close to the middle as you can because um, you need it. To be balanced and I'm just going to use one of these actually I'm going to use an oversized one because I want it to stay I have some big um, rings somewhere oh you know what would be perfect a safety pin let's use a safety pin is this a normal safety pin in here yep okay I just have a little safety pin and we're going to um uh where did my little did I get one out? Sorry. Thought I got one of these out. Well it doesn't matter, I won't be able to get through there. So let's just go ahead and poke the whole thing through there. So um going to be a little bit bigger but not much bigger I just push that through there you see it's sticking out and then unclasp your safety pin put it right through the loop and you can get beads that are already like pre-strung like that and you, all you have to do is just cut them apart and stick one in there and there you go now you have a little thing that hangs and then let's put the basket on and I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to glue hot glue so I need to warm up my hot glue again I'm gonna hot glue the strands to the basket um, you can do inside or outside I may do outside and then put um, just Put washi around it I think for decoration so let's set that off to the side because it's not ready and I think I see how much of this I have I think there's quite a bit of this let's do some let's do something decorative here on the balloon while that's heating up let's make some swag here <clears throat> so one or two guys let's look to see what it looks like I found that the Tim Holtz scissors cuts through this way better than regular scissors okay so here's one crooked but can I get the point it would be yeah probably right about there I did two on my steampunk one I mean, these are pretty big. They can totally withstand two. Yeah, two. Two, you guys. We're going to do two. So I'm going to cut six strings the same size of each of these. So we make sure that one doesn't hang down further than the other, and then it looks funny. And then I found these in my stash. 
They are called one inch roses and they're, I mean, the roses aren't really one inch, but they're one inch with the little petals, I guess, or leaves. They're supposed to be leaves. But they're just little fabric roses that you can find probably in the wedding section at your crafting store. Just using stuff for my stash. Because I do not need to go out to the store and get anything else. There's the longer pieces. And I'm going to do, I already have, two, well, I have three more in process of using the princess paper. And um, I am going to show you guys how to use jewelry making supplies to decorate them for a uh, different tutorial. I just want all different sizes and like, whoops, to themes for my daughter. She wants, she wants a little fleet of air balloons. I still got quite a bit of that left. Might be using it forever. Okay, so let's see where we are with my glue gun. Seems to be hot enough. Okay, so I'll put those aside. And I am just going to put a bead of glue and make sure that you get it on the same four sides in the same place that you put. Okay, so we got to do some judging here. How far does this hang? I'm going to say it hangs right there. Like that, I'm thinking. And then I'll put washi tape around here. And then after I do that, I'll decide what I need to do with the rest of the, the gold. Now, the other thing you want to make sure when you're doing this is make sure that everything is taut. You don't want one side tight and one side loose. I may be able to just put washi on there and leave it. Okay, and then so this one. Sure it's tight so that when it hangs down it looks right otherwise it's going to be diagonal and wonky that looks pretty good get all this stuff hanging off here trying to see if it's actually straight or not okay so I just had an idea I don't know if I'll be able to no, I don't think so I was thinking if I could separate these strands out of this thing then it would look like um, the tassels like the hangy tassels but I think that's not happening. There's no separating that. So let's do the other part of the balloon, the swag. And so you just kind of pick a spot like in the middle. You put your hot glue. Oh, I mixed them. And put one of your long ones in the hot glue. You just want, um, 
Yeah, those are not straight across from each other. At all. What was I thinking? I wouldn't be too worried about extra glue where your where your swag actually hits because we're gonna put flowers there. And my camera's going to run out of batteries, you guys. Can't wait to get my camcorder. So there's one, and then the shorter one, I need to separate these, goes between these. This, is this a shorter one? This is a shorter one, definitely. So, you just put another dot of glue in the same spot or right above it. And you put your other one on there. There we go. And then you take your flower and after you put the, the adjoining one on, you can put the flowers on. And that's all there is to it, you guys. So, my battery's dead. I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of it. Um, well, I'll do it. Never mind. Okay, let's see if I can get these to work. If I can hold on to them. Yeah. I 
I like it. What do you guys think? I think I got some fly away lace here we gotta deal with. After I after I get all this put together, I'm gonna have to take get like all the little strings off because they're all over. Okay, so Let's go ahead and put the, I mean, I'm done decorating. I was going to put that bird on there, but I think now that we've added the um, swag or whatever that's called, I don't think that that's necessary. So um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to, a uh, huge glob. Okay, plan B. You guys, my dogs are driving me nuts. They want in, they want out. I wonder if I put There's just, there's no way to put your hand inside and squeeze these things together. So we just kind of have to like glue it, pull everything out so that it, it kind of touches the exterior when you put this on. And then once it's on, things are going to move, but you're just going to have to be like, okay, uh, we got to just be confident that there's going to be enough to make it stick. You got to do it quick if you're using hot glue. I guess I could use regular glue. And then, ow! And then just walk away and let it sit. Let's see. Okay, there's definitely still some hot there. And then the other thing you want to do simultaneously is just make sure that it's gone straight. So you push it all the way down. If one of those legs are still higher than the other, then you're, it's going to be crooked. So um, I'm going to start pulling off this hot glue. Or maybe I should put another flower there. Let's do that. I, that doesn't really... I have white ones. Nothing. Yeah, I guess I could use white. Yeah, let's use the white ones because I don't think I have anything else. So let's get out six white ones. Four, five, six. And while I have, I'll put these up. To glue those right there. What do you guys think? I think it fixes mistakes or at least hides them. I think it hides mistakes. Now after we get this done, like I'm pretty much done. But the one thing that I need to do is hang it from any string or however you plan on hanging it from the ceiling because we put that handy dandy Tim Holtz thingy in it and um, make sure that it's not off balance. And if it is off balance, just add embellishments, add paper cuts, 
um, cutouts from the paper, add, you know, metal butterflies, paper butterflies, stickers, whatever, where it is off center. You know what I mean? All right, you guys, this is it. We're done. So I thank you very much for hanging out with me and doing this project. If you do this project, I would love to see it. Um, I'm going to go ch change the template to cut six of these instead of five of these. And I'm going to make two more balloons and we're going to decorate them with um, some chain and jewelry and such. And I'm going to take some pictures of this for the front, um, for the beginning of the video. And that's really all I can do. I can't do a share, so let me zoom out as much as I can. And here's, here's the balloon, you guys. We did a good job. Good job, good job. I appreciate each and every one of you. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you enjoy all my tutorials, and I can't wait to see what you do. You have a great day. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.